A major effort underway to help protect California forests from wildfires. If you've ever flown over the state's forest, you may have noticed long cleared strips of land cutting through the trees. Well, these are fuel breaks, strategically cleared areas to help slow the spread of wildfires. Now a new partnership between private and federal landowners aims to connect these fuel breaks into one unified defense system. Your reporter Brady Halpleib is getting answers. Connectivity through partnership. The U.S. Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Forest Service are joining forces with Sierra Pacific Industries, a major lumber company, in a $75 million partnership to build and maintain fuel breaks throughout California and Oregon. The strategy here is based on connectivity. Right now, fuel breaks, which are cleared areas that help stop wildfires, are scattered and disconnected. This agreement will connect them across private land owned by Sierra Pacific Industries and public land, creating a unified front to help protect communities and forests historically known to be at high risk for wildfires. When suppression efforts are launched, we have a better chance to actually combat these wildfires, which we all know, Brady, are a tremendous problem in California. It'll take 23 projects over the next three years to add up about 400 miles of new fuel breaks to the existing 2200 mile network. When you have proper firefighting in addition to the fuel break, they stop fires about 68% of the time. Sierra Pacific CEO Mark Emerson knows the benefits of these fuel breaks firsthand, noting that communities of Butte Meadows and Forest Ranch were protected in last year's park fire due to the Highway 32 fuel break. These fuel breaks save property they save infrastructure, they save habitat, and they save lives. Driven by partnership, united by one goal, to build a stronger defense against wildfires. So that's the vision, is having the industry and the forest product sector as a whole stand up and stand tall and help the Forest Service get this work done for the protection of resources in California. Yeah, we know that's so critical. The first couple of projects are started to begin this May, and they expect to have the connection then complete by 2028.